Hi, this is Sydney Wilcox and this is high school painting study number two. Number one is a tints add white, shades add black, monochromatic color painting. The goal is to make things look 3D. Using that same idea, goal to make things look 3D, the next lesson is complementary colors, opposites on the color wheel, one primary and one secondary. I have a design, this time I've used basketball, and if you look at the video about how to design, it can be anything you'd like. These are basketballs in a rack. The light source is from up here, and I have the value scale already in place. So um, you mix colors, and at the very bottom, you put the darker. And so I'll put blue at the bottom and orange at the top. And then it becomes percentages. How much, a little bit, tiny bit of orange until we get to middle neutral grays. And then we'll make a painting. This video will cover simply the mixing of the scale. So secondary color orange, primary color blue, and I place them opposite on the palette. Next, just using a brush, lay in the complementary color in its pure form. You have two choices. You can mix on the painting tray or you can mix on the paper. I tend to do a little bit of both. So make sure that you have brushes, um, two brushes and um, water to clean your brushes with. So I've laid down the pure color. It doesn't matter which one you start with, so I'm gonna take some blue, and I'm going to add a tiny, really small amount of orange, and because I, I want it to change, I want it to still be blue, but it the orange darkens it. And I almost say that that's too much orange. So this is where that mix on the palette, mix on the thing. Um, when you make a complement, you're making a neutral, the colors neutralize each other. If you make them side by side, they get, they do what's called vibrating and they excite in your eye. And sports teams use complementary colors um, Minnesota Wild has red and green. Minnesota Vikings have yellow and purple. Um, I don't know other sports teams' colors. So this is bright blue. It gets more dull, a little bit more orange. And it gets quite dark. needs more orange. So when you mix the color scale, um, and that went too far, so it's a back and forth and back and forth as you mix it up. There. So the grays that are in here 
you can, they get browner. And so now when I add more orange to that, if I look at that there right next to that, that's too big of a jump. So I think I'm gonna put that one up here because that went into warmer browns. It's becoming more orange than blue. So backing up. It can get a little tricky because the colors are so shiny when they're wet and they become very flat when they dry out and um, you want the changes to be each step to be different and more gradual. You know, step back, give it a look. So we're here, more orange. Too much the same, more orange. Okay. I'm going to rinse my brush out now um, so that I have mostly orange and yeah, I'm dripping on my painting. Um, really load up my brush here and then just take a little bit of this mix to see about dulling down the orange. I want it to still be orange, but I want it With color studies, I find it super easy to <clears throat> make this, and then I have the colors and I know what I've just done, and I can begin to block in um, what I'm going to do with this. So basketballs are not true orange, but this step, and the lights from up here, they're on silver bars, a uh, storage rack, and I'm gonna darken the background. <clears throat> the goal is to make these ball, the basketballs look three-dimensional, like they're jumping out and that they're sitting behind the bar in the rack. <clears throat> so I'm going to load up with this color I have and put in the local color, block in my shapes to start with. You will remember from the value paintings that we did with Hope and Sorrow um, that there are four steps with the composition. Um, what's your ground? What's your composition? Where's the placement? And this is the third step of blocking in your colors. And then there will be a fourth step of refinement. What are you going to do after that? There will be black outlines, and I don't want those to get muddy, and I don't want to lose the drawing that shows the basketball lines. So that's what the white gaps are. So that is the start of the complementary painting. 
and I will put in a <clears throat> time-lapse video to show as the paint proceeds. Thank you for your time and um, have fun painting.